Oh look, it's Tom Holland, and oh wait, yep, that's me, filming for this video. back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to the Spider-Man Far From Home premiere and I'm so excited to take you guys along with me. This video is basically what I do in the day of an event. I'm taking my brother and I really just thought why not just take you guys along for the ride and see what it's like, what I do in the day, what I eat, how I work out on the day of an event, and what it's like getting ready for a premiere with glam, what's like on the red carpet, the after party. So I'm really excited to take you guys along for the ride. I don't like long intros, so let's just get this thing started. Good morning, Emma. <laughs> I usually wake up around 8 a.m. on the weekdays and I just get the day started by combing this rat's nest, getting ready for the gym, filling up my water, and doing my workout. I don't like eating before a workout because it makes me feel heavy and weighted down, and so I always just eat after. All right, let's go to the gym. This is gonna be the workout that I usually do on a day-to-day -day basis. On days where I don't have an event, I usually do a little bit more cardio, but today, because I don't want to sweat that much, I am only doing a light cardio, which is one mile run, or you can walk the mile in about 15 minutes. The first ab workout that I'm going to do is the stretch and crunch. The key is the stretch. It helps you get that nice ab crack to define your abs. The key to this next exercise is keeping your legs bent, like so. Um, if you keep them extended, then your hip flexor will be flexed and it'll work that muscle and make your hip size larger. That is another um, strategy that John Benton has taught me to keep my hip size down. These ab workouts are killer. I've been doing them for almost a year now and they still get me. For legs and booty, I'm not really into using weights or doing a lot of squats because it bulks up my thighs, so I do a lot of body weight exercises um, and toning exercises to keep my legs lean. I'm using two pound ankle weights to really just intensify the inner thigh workout to really make it burn. And we stretch. That was it for my quick premiere day workout. Super simple. After my workout, I always do the same thing. I have a smoothie. It's the best way to start my day. This is my like post-workout. Smoothie, it's super light. I actually got the recipe online from Scarlett Johansson. It's the recipe she uses for a post-workout smoothie, so kind of twinning. Scarlett Johansson, okay, anyway. Um, it's super simple to make. So for the smoothie, I had already put in about a cup and a half of coconut water. I split up my banana into little chunks and did about a handful of spinach. I do about a tablespoon of peanut butter, I don't know. I just sort of eyeball it. And then I do a scoop of protein powder. After that, 
I add some ice into there to make sure it's cold because a warm smoothie is no bueno. Um, and then, yeah, blend it up. Okay, that pouring noise, ASMR? I think so. Now that I'm ready for the day, I usually like to just go ahead and do some work, do some school. Um, I'm doing an online college class right now, and so I have to make time for that. Look at me, being so studious. All right, now it's lunchtime. Got the goods. She's all safe too. So we've got golden beets, dairy-free cheese, nuts, and regular old beets. And honestly, whatever those are, I'm not really sure, but it's so good. My favorite salad. And it's my lunch. I have glam coming over at three, so I sort of cleaned up, tidied up a little bit, and prepared for them to come over and gonna get the glam started. Okay, so we are mid-glam. This is Aviva, she's doing hair. Hi! And then Molly's back there. Hi. She does makeup, and we're about halfway through getting ready for Spider-Man. Far From Home premiere. We're doing an updo. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to see the finished product. I think our inspiration for this is like sort of Jennifer Lawrence hair vibes, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. Aviva? Um, well, I feel like with that romantic dress to have your hair up so you can show off your shoulders. Yep. The texture of the hair is kind of romantic and undone. Um, undone but done. Undone and done. Undone. Yeah. And I think for makeup we just want super like light glam and let the right. dress speak for itself. Right. I really loved the reference photo of you with regular yeah. real life. Oh wow, yeah, so we had the makeup, makeup on. We had the fitting yesterday and I sent pictures to them so they could see for just to be thinking about what they want to do and I literally just had done my everyday makeup and apparently Molly loved that vibe. And Perfect. so that's the vibe for tonight. And then Aviva and I both were thinking the same thing. Same J Law. Like undone done. Vibe. Yeah, like they both actually we're sending the same reference same photo. at the same moment. <laughs> Dream team. <laughs> so I've got hair and makeup done, the dress is now on, shoes are on, and I'm now just getting last looks. Beautiful. Okay, I'm in the car, we're waiting in the queue. Safety first, of course. So we're just waiting, waiting, waiting. Earlier I was like propped up like this because I didn't want to wrinkle it, but then I was like, the dress is already like pleated, so it's not really gonna matter. <laughs> so, oh well. So just waiting.
I didn't do much recording at the after party because I was talking to so many people, but I got to hang out with Anthony Russo, Lexi Rabe, and so many other people, and it was a blast, as well as some great food. The premiere was so much fun. We had a blast. It was absolutely insane. I got to talk to so many of you guys at the premiere. I got to walk the carpet and talk to Marvel live stream as well as see the movie. That was probably the highlight. It was so good. I'm so excited for you guys to see it. You're gonna love it. And then my brother and I attended the after party where there was crepes and food trucks and mini donuts and so many fun things. I changed out of my heels and of course into Doc Martens because I wanted to be comfortable. I got picked up at around 11.30 and I went home. I undid the glam. I undid that updo did not hold itself. Obviously, I think I counted like 26 or 27 bobby pins as well as fake lashes and lots of makeup remover. And that is what their hair looked like all down. Nice and crimpy. So that was it. That was the premiere. I really hope you enjoyed this journey and I hope you learned something new about what a premiere and going to a premiere is like. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up uh, and comment below what you would like to see next. Yeah, this was so much fun. I had a blast. The movie was so good. I felt like a little spidey queen. <laughs> good night. It is like midnight, past midnight. I'm tired. My voice is kind of going. I don't know why. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed seeing what it was like um, on the day of a premiere. Let me know in the comments and I'll do some more of this stuff. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And I did this in my last video and I kind of like it. So I'm gonna do it again. Smash that subscribe button. <laughs> okay, bye guys.